Hello, friends. First thing I need you to do, if I didn't tell you this in class already, is to take out your plan books. So take out your plan books, please. Giving you wait time. Great. Thank you. Thanks for taking your plan book out. Um, eighth graders, Mr. Tisdale has asked me to share with you about student council this year. Mr. Tisdale is the, um, he runs student council. He is the staff manager for student council, but it's student led. So if you are interested in finding a leadership position and planning events for Worthing Way and um, discussing things with administration, with other classmates, taking feedback from classmates, um, this is a really great opportunity. And um, our student council this year is composed of sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. Eight, only eighth graders are eligible for the four officer positions. Um, but here's what you're going to do. If you are interested in um, running for student council, and I'll tell you how that process is going to work in a second, you are going to, tonight, tomorrow, or this weekend, or Monday, you're going to go to your drive, you're going to open up a new doc. You're going to name your doc student, whoops, student council speech. A little slow with my video. Speech. And then you're going to write your first and last name. And then you're going to write your speech in the doc. And your speech, you're going to want to limit it to about a paragraph or two because your classmates will read the speech. And you're going to just write about why you think you would be an asset, you would be great on student council. So you are selling yourself a little bit in your writing here to, uh, you know, because your classmates are going to read and they're going to vote. Then once you write, and also keep in mind that other eighth graders are going to read your writing, and so not a lot of eighth graders want to read, as I know well, like three pages of writing. So you're going to, once you write it, you're going to come up here to click share, and you're going to share this with Mr. Tisdale, and his email address is S. Tisdale should come right up. T whoops. I know, it's a little slow. Um, share it with Mr. Tisdale so he has it. Then, let me go back to the announcements. Mr. Tisdale is going to put all of the speeches together. We're going to give you um, a, a way to read the speeches and vote on who you think would be a great leader for Worthing Way. So, we're at, um, so these will be due by Tuesday, September 14th. Um, of next week. And Mr. Tisdale has asked me to remind you that it's not a popularity contest. You don't want to just vote for your best friend because they're your best friend. Um, I know, you know, I have friends who would be great in leadership positions and I have friends who, you know, are more comfortable in their own uh, way and not having leadership positions. So you want to consider who do you think would be a great representative for you and your fellow uh, Worthing Way classmates. I think that's it. If you have any questions, um, oh, the last thing I'll say is that the person who receives the most votes will be the elected president and then vice president. And then we have two other officer positions. I'm not sure how those are assigned. One deals with finances, one deals with taking notes at meetings. But there are other opportunities. It's not just for eighth graders, there's other members of student council. Cool. Thank you for your attention.